One option for reducing the alveolar ridge includes using a back action rongier to reduce peaks of bone. This is commonly done for harvesting bone for grafting. Another option is to use a reciprocating saw or a piezo unit. Clinicians can use the buckle and lingual flats of the bone foundation guide for proper positioning of the saw blade. A third option is to use a large bone reduction burr of choice. It is the clinician's choice for bone reduction protocol. The end goal is to have the entire alveolar ridge flat and flush to the bone foundation guide. Too much bone reduction would leave the implants above the crest of the alveolar ridge. Check the reduction with a metal perio probe. While holding the probe so it is contacting both the palatal and buccal flats of the bone foundation guide, slide the probe across the alveolar ridge to identify any high spots. As an option, if an angled rotation guide has been fabricated, the clinician can quickly seat this and evaluate if it rocks or has any gaps. It is important to verify that the palatal keys are seating completely into the palatal slots of the bone foundation guide. Reducing any high spots will help to ensure a complete seating of the surgical guide and the other prosthetic guides.